So the network diagram, as you can see, activity A dates just the startup, the project you can say, and then uh, you can say activity A dates just the predecessor for B, C, and D. So once activity A completes, then B, C, D start, you can say, okay? And then B, C are predecessors for E, and as you can see, B, C, D, those are predecessors for F, F is predecessor for G and then EG those are predecessors for H and you can say H is the the finish or you can say the the final activity of the same project okay this is just you can say a simple diagram which you can also represent in this form as you can see it is the same diagram okay a network diagram however we have just given a format and you can say in annotation for the forward pass and backward pass okay so now i'm going to calculate the forward pass and for this approach i'll i'll use the annotation as you can see the early start early finish then the late start and late finish okay the center one these are the activities like a b c d okay and beneath uh, you can say below date as you can see these are the duration and the duration that's just the first mean you can say okay that's the mean duration okay so so let's go ahead as you can see let's focus on activity a the early start of activity a can be zero and then if we add the duration we can get of course the early finish and that's gonna be 5.334 so simple okay just forward the early finish up activity A to the early start up each activity as you can see B, C, D because A is just the predecessor for these three guys. Okay, so simple. Just forward them. Now, add the duration of activity with the early start. We can get of course the early finish. Now, let's focus on activity F which got of course three predecessors. So, we're going to take the early finish, which is the least one, okay, from these three activities like B, C, D. And as you can see, activity D got the less time, the medium time, which is activity C, and the, the maximum time got activity B, which means the maximum value can be taken, like from activity B. So, the early finish of activity B can be forwarded to F, which is 20.163. Now add the duration, which is 10.5, and that's gonna be 30.663, so simple. And again, just forward this to G, which is the, you can say the early startup activity G, okay, the same thing, and add the duration, and that's gonna be the early finish of activity G. Let's focus on activity E now. As you can see, it got two predecessors, which is B and C, and as you can see, we're gonna take the video, uh, you can say the maximum early finish, you can say, okay? And that's of course just the activity B, so simple. Again, just forward that to E, at the duration of E, which is 15, and that's 35.163. Now, as you can see, activity H got two predecessors again, and we're gonna take the maximum one, and that's of course the, the early finish of activity G which is 199.163, so simple. At the duration of H, we're gonna take, and we're gonna get, of course, the early finish of activity H. Now remember, I'm going to perform the uh, backward pause, and that's the same thing, just going backward, okay? As you can see, the just focus on activity H, the early finish and late finish of activity H can be the same, okay? We don't have any legs or something and just subtract the duration so we can get the late start and that's 199 again the same okay and remember this is critical activity if you subtract the late start from the early start we can get the zero float and remember activity with zero float can be critical okay we're gonna come to that later late it does not matter all right just forward the late start of activity H to G and E so simple like that and subtract the duration of G and E so we can get the late start of each activity and you can see the late start of G and E now again we are gonna uh, you can say uh, backward pass the the late start of activity G to F and then subtract the duration of F so we can get 20.163 as the late start of activity F next let's focus on activity B 
as you can see activity B got two arrows so we are gonna get the late start of activity FRE okay we are gonna take the minimum one this time okay and remember in the forward pass a maximum value was taken from the early finish of the activities now in backward pass we're gonna take the minimum video and that's the late start okay can be the late start of any activity like as you can see we got two arrows from e and f we're gonna take the minimum video is a late start you can see okay the late start of activity f is minimum with respect to date of the e so we're gonna take the late start of activity f and that's of course 20.163 now subtract the duration of B so we can get of course 5.334 and the same thing can be applied for C as you can see 20.163 can be shifted to C because that's just the least one with respect to E and of course we can subtract the duration of C so we can get the late start of activity C and the same thing as you can see we're gonna shift this late start of activity F to D so we can just subtract the duration of D and then we can get of course the late start of activity D so sample okay now let's focus on activity A which is predecessor for three activities B C D now focus on the late start of each activity okay B got 5.334 C got 10.66 something D got 15.3 something okay as you can see activity B got the minimum video is a late start so we're gonna shift that to activity a so simple subtract the duration which is going to be zero and that means that the calculation is okay when you got late start is zero of activity a you can say the early start and late start next i'm going to calculate the float of each activity float is also known sometime by this lake and that's of course the late start of activity minus the early start of activity if you focus on activity A, the late start and early start are zero are the same, so the float can be zero. Activity B got the same float because the early start and the late start are the same, so that's zero, and these two activities are critical, you can say. Now, if you focus on activity C, it got the late start is 10.663, the early start is 5.334, okay? So subtracting 5.334 from 10.663, we can get the float is 5.329. And that means the activity C is not critical. We can delay it for five, you can say days, weeks, whatever the unit is. Okay. The same formula can be applied for each activity to calculate the float. Okay. Just do it till H. And as you can see, we got activity a b f g and h these guys got the same float which is zero and that means the critical path of the network diagram can be the same path you can say a b f g and h because these activities got the float as zero okay remember activities with zero float are known by the critical activities and if you join them creating a path and that path is known by the critical path okay